Dab Hey William. Team, 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 dream. Christian Kostov. He just turned 17 today on March 15th, and he is singing the song Beautiful Mess at Eurovision. Should we talk about it? Let's do that! <laughs> someone very seasoned, very old, someone with decades of experience. But kids start early these days. Kids he was do. a finalist on The Voice Kids in, in Russia, which yeah. is full of talent. And Dima Balan was his coach. That could bode very well for him. But more so than just being an early starter, his voice has a unique quality. And I think that's my point, is when you look at him, you do not expect him to sing this way, that deep. It, it's very magical and captivating. First thoughts on the performer? I like him. I really do. You know, and another thing I like about him is that he's making history as the first contestant from the year 2000 in the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> <laughs> You've yeah. got to applaud that. He's ushering in a new wave of a new demographic and he's great. So I think he's a good choice for Bulgaria. I do like him and I like the team that he's working with. Boris Milanov, Milanov, Milanov yeah. Polly Genova's uh, producer slash songwriter. This is a very polished entry, beautiful mess. It sounds expensive, and I don't mean that in a oh, bad God, way. Yeah. It sounds very expensive, it's very well crafted, it's very smooth. And it's subtle. It's yeah. subtle. They said in their press release they, they were shifting away from just musical delivery and towards a cinematic experience. That A suggests ambition. They want to win. They're not just here to sing a song, they want to win and deliver a performance. We'll obviously have to wait to see the music video and the performance. And also, it's about atmosphere. It's not just about a woman screaming or like, a, a, you know, an opera star belting it out. It's about atmosphere. And it's so, about pushing further, not yeah. resting on your laurels, recycling the same stuff. It's also about composers, teams, and um, vocalists kind of working together to offer a different flavour. So what do you think of the song? I'm mixed on the song, and I tell you why. The title Beautiful, Beautiful Mess captivates me. It's beautiful, yeah. but it's not messy, and I kind of need that little grit in it. It's too much of a smooth flavour. And yes, it has, it's atmospheric on one hand, but on the, on the other hand, it's just like, it just plays. Do you know what I mean? It just plays. Yeah. We have Ireland with the ballad. Beautiful ballad. We have Australia with the ballad. Yeah, absolutely. It's our five race. We have Bulgaria. And I think my concern at the moment is, because I've not listened to them too many times, in my mind, I'm like, oh wait, which is which? And I, none of them have a distinct flavour. However, Live, I think this song from Bulgaria could come alive and step away, not just because he looks very young, but also musically. I think that when you sing this live, it will have more texture, it will it'll be more interesting. Because like you, with the studio version, I'm slightly it's on the polished. fence. It's polished. Yeah. It's just too polished. I'm just slightly on the fence. It sounds very Bieber, which is good, but it has more soul, which is even better. Um, I just, it's taken me a few listens to appreciate this, mm. and that's a concern for me, because at Eurovision it needs to be instant. Yeah, you can't stew. You have to, you need to have that immediacy. But, again, live makes the difference, and for instance, Blackbird in Finland, the studio version I hated. The live version, I gave it 12 points on the jury in <laughs> Finland because live it was something totally different. And I think this is a song you need to hear. Tommy Eam last year, she's, you know how much I love that song live. Oh yeah. The studio version initially I was positive, but I was just, uh, I'm, I'm having a, a, 
not lukewarm, because I like the performer and I like the song, but I'm not yet screaming, because I feel like it's a lot of the same thing over and over. But live, he can give the variety that will make the song special. But I think outside of that, we have to be faithful to our judging and just talk about what we have and what yes. and we should judge the product we have now. And I think we can both agree it's a beautiful song. Yeah. But there is... It's missing a spark. Yeah, I, I agree with that. The spark will come with the live performance. Where would you put this in your top 43 at the moment? Oh, I haven't started sorting out. Um... I like it. I mean, I definitely want it to qualify. Yes, I think it will qualify for sure. Oh yeah. No doubt. Mm. I think being half Russian will help him as well. I mean, they do. Yeah. He's got the Bulgarians, obviously, well, the Bulgarians can't prove themselves, but he'll have the Bulgarian diaspora, mm -hmm. and he might get some of the Russian diaspora. Yeah. And he's also partly Kazakh. Although that's... <laughs> really he is celebrating diversity, William. No, he's completely celebrating diversity. This is on the left-hand side of my scoreboard for sure. It's in my top half of the songs. And I'm very optimistic. It is fourth with the betting agencies at the moment. And I, I think that's merited because, again, they're going for a cinematic approach and you're not going to see the cinema until the staging comes to life. I have a feeling that the moment we hear him live at a pre-preview concert, we're going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. Because then it's going to come to life. Um, but this is just not a song that I would necessarily download I, at this moment. It is a song that I kind of hear often so it's in you know in the nordics in the uk it's very much for western radio and that's a good that's thing. a good thing this that's is good this thing. is quality this is the second year in a row bulgaria has brought amazing quality yes perhaps one of the best produced songs in the whole competition absolutely no, no doubt and can i just shout out that bulgaria is bringing quality not only to the mother contest no. but also to junior yes Eurovision. they consistently can lydia Geneva, she's so cool Sprinkle me the magic. Give me some Chrissia. Oh! Yeah, Gabriella and Yvonne. <laughs> done. done. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think that Christian Kostov can win Eurovision? Do you think he can top Polly Genova? Do you think he can make the final? Let us know here on Booby Blogs. Because we'll be reading your comments. And you can add those comments on our B post app, the Booby Blogs app, which is available in Android and Google. iOS. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.